Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 16th of June 2020 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we head into a new week here we've already seen another explosive move on gold just yesterday after the Federal Reserve announced additional quantitative easing surging gold over 1% on the day. Now we mentioned this last week where effectively we banked 500 points on gold last week off the back of the FOMC statement where we had again seen the narrative switch towards interest rates and keeping those to zero not only into next year but also all the way through to 2022. So interest rates are set to stay near zero for a prolonged period of time and of course many of you capitalised on that after Friday's non-farm payroll sell-off where in fact many of you managed to capitalise on the pullback getting in at 1680 or below which of course has provided just another fantastic opportunity to buy gold on the dip resulting in a 500 point profit for us at the gold and silver club and for many of you as well now what we've seen over the course of this week is again many 100 percent technical driven traders have been smashed by the breakout that we saw on gold yesterday and this is where we've discussed previously where technical trading alone right now is not going to give you an edge in the market. So you can see at the beginning of the week, gold rolling over, selling off. And as we've discussed before, at the moment, you really want to be viewing these dips in price for gold as buy opportunities. Then you want to marry that up with, of course, what the Federal Reserve is doing, macroeconomic data. You want to be utilizing the cycles in the market that we see on gold day to day, week to week, the seasonality. Of course, what the hedge funds and money managers are doing, how they are positioning themselves in the market, building positions essentially on the precious metals. We saw that certainly with silver breaking out 25% within a single month. And of course, in the uncertain times that we're seeing right now in the financial markets, the next six months, are going to provide fantastic opportunities across the markets we're trading, the precious metals and the energy markets. So you can see already right now, we've got global riots around the world, the potential for a second wave of COVID-19 later on this year as well. We've already seen another shift lower in stock markets just last week. The Federal Reserve providing additional stimulus and support to the markets just yesterday, which is sending gold rocketing higher very quickly. And this is where you don't want to be selling gold at the wrong times. You don't want to FOMO in at the highs either. You want to really take advantage of these pullbacks in price for gold in order to reload and then capitalize on the subsequent breakouts that we're seeing week to week at the moment. But of course, with that, this is where you need to know the areas of liquidity, where the buyers are coming in, where the hedge funds and money managers are positioning themselves, where typically the technical sellers are starting to get triggered for their sell orders. These are often the times when you actually want to be looking at the opposite and going long gold and vice versa. When many technical traders are then getting triggered for their longs, they're FOMOing in, this is often where you want to be taking profit off the table. If you want to increase your income, you need to increase your skills. And of course, this comes from a research-driven approach to the market, which will give you edge. Now, today we have Jerome Powell's testimony scheduled at three o'clock London time. We saw a dip, as we'd suggested, on the week ahead commodity report for gold, where look out for that beginning of the week counter flow, but you don't want to be selling into gold. You want to look out for these dips as buy opportunities. Yet again, yesterday, we saw gold break down to 1,704 US dollars per ounce at the beginning of the week. The counter flow hit a major level of liquidity, and then we've seen gold prices soar yet again up to 1,731 US dollars per ounce. Over the course of this week, again, I would look for opportunities to buy in if we do see any further retracements back towards 1700s we continue to maintain our long position but we're looking to build further positions again if we get dips back towards those magnetic levels and areas of liquidity yet again as discussed on the week ahead commodity report so with that if you would like to become a member of the gold and silver club join a thriving community of successful traders there is an opportunity for you to do so just click in the link below today's report and of course we will get in touch with you asap so with that that's been gold asset of the day and I wish you good trading.